Are you running an old version of Vara? Let's get those systems updated. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So Buildapi nor 7.3 Linux will automatically update Vara to the latest version. There's a couple of various reasons for that that we're not going to get into right this minute. So I do want to show you guys how to update your Vara installations, both Vara HF and Vara FM. And this should work exactly the same whether you're running the Raspberry Pi or you're running a x86 box with something like Linux Mint or Linux Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and take just a couple of minutes and get the updates done. Okay, so I went ahead and opened my Vara HF modem and you can see right here it's telling me that a new version is available. And if we look right up here in the center, you'll see that my current version is 4.6.3. So let's go ahead and open the web browser and navigate to rosmodem.wordpress.org. And if we look right here at the top line, you can see Vara HF, the latest version is 4.7.7. So I definitely need to go ahead and upgrade. So I wanna go ahead and close that Vara modem so that nothing interferes. And we're gonna go ahead and click on this and download that 4.7.7 uh, version. Once this page loads, go ahead and click on the download button and give it just a couple of seconds to download. Once that finishes up, you can see that it's completed right here. I'm gonna go ahead and close that one tab there and then minimize the browser. Next, we want to go ahead and open up File Explorer and navigate over to your downloads directory. So if you're in your home directory, just go ahead and double click on downloads and you should see that file that you just downloaded. Let's right click on that and say extract here. Once that file is extracted, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the zip file since we're done with it. And next, let's go ahead and open up the terminal. In the terminal, let's move to the downloads directory with cd space tilde forward slash downloads. We'll run the ls command and we can see that file uh, right there listed out. Now, one of the problems in Linux is anytime a file has a space in the name, or special characters like the parentheses, we've got to escape that with the backslash. Let me show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and run the wine command because that's what we're going to use to install this. And I'm going to start typing Vara and then hit the tab key. And that will auto fill the rest of that file name. But notice right here before this space, we've got the backslash. Before this space, we've got the backslash. Then before this parentheses, we've got the backslash again and that carries out throughout the entire name so just a kind of a tip for you in linux if you've got a space in there you do have to use that backslash now let's go ahead and press return here and that will start the installation process once the setup vara dialog box opens let's just go ahead and start clicking next to get through everything make sure we agree with uh, their terms hit next again. I don't need a desktop icon because this lives in the menu system on my Linux uh, box. So we can skip that. I'll go ahead and click next and then click install. Once the installation is complete, you'll see uh, a little pop-up box appear. Just go ahead and click OK and uncheck launch my program. We don't need to launch that right now. And then click finish. And that's it. We've got that one now let's go ahead and tackle the Vara FM modem. I'm gonna go back to the downloads directory and just delete that file that we just installed. That way there's no confusion uh, as we grab the next file. We'll go back to the web browser and this time we're going to choose Vara FM 4.2.9. Just like before, once this page loads, go ahead and click on the download button and give it a couple of seconds. Once you get a completed uh, box right up here at the top, we can go ahead and just minimize or close the web browser. We're done with it this time. Back in the downloads directory, you'll see now I have this Vora FM 4.2.9. Just like before, we're going to right click and say extract here. Once that file is extracted, I'll go ahead and delete my zip file and then we'll head back over to the terminal window. Now, you'll notice we're still in our downloads directory where we were before, and if I run the ls command, you'll see that Vora FM setup file. 
just like uh, with the HF modem, let's run wine space Vara and we'll hit the tab key to auto complete that and go ahead and press return. When the setup box appears, let's just go ahead and click next through all of this. Once the install is complete, you'll get another uh, successful dialog box here. Just go ahead and click OK. And once again, we don't need to launch that program. Now we can just click finish. At this point, we can go ahead and close the terminal window, and I'm gonna close this file explorer up here because we're done with it as well. Now, let's just verify that we have the latest one. So I'm gonna open the Vara modem first, and you'll see that we now have version 4.7.7 installed. Let's double check that FM version real quick, and it looks like it updated successfully as well. We're now running version 4.2. So that's how easy it is to get the latest version of Vara installed on your Linux box. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.